You know, I consider myself to be an artist. It never gets old, the joy of bringing a brand new masterpiece into the world. Let me just try to give it a good view there. Can you see that? And the thing with good art is that it's timeless. No matter how many times you look at it, it never quite loses its beauty. So with this one, for whoa, what the f is that monstrosity? I think I might need a robot to do this job. All right, you know those spinny glass things on the tables in Chinese restaurants? The way they function is these large circular metal bearings. I stole these from my local Chinese restaurant, Golden Phoenix Lotus Fortune Drag. The cops are still after me. The idea is with the combination of these two bearings, I can mount a drill bit to rotate in a spherical manner. So first, we're gonna make a table with a circular hole to attach this onto. I got this uh, hot sauce from the restaurant as well. I'm just gonna use it to mark the overall dimensions with these white rubber feet. Honestly, when it comes to me and innovation, it's getting a little bit out of control. So now that we have the frame, the way that it'll move is through these. This is a servo motor with 270 degrees of precise angle control. I have a friend called Ben who's really into RC cars, so I just took apart one of his RC cars and took the servos out. Uh, don't worry about that. Anyways, to rotate the horizontal bearing, I cut out a slot in the wood, this fits in like that, and then I 3D printed some gear parts to fit onto both the bearing and the servo. Just take this blue thing off, fit it on like that, and then we're good to go. To make an image on the watermelon, you only need around 90 degrees of movement. So, going from 270 degrees to 90 degrees means that the gears have to be in a 3 to 1 ratio. When it comes to gear design, you need to keep between the gears, which is defined as the ratio Bruh. All you need to know is with both servos attached, it moves around like a oh. Yep, that, that's, that's good. So in order to try out the mechanism, this is our test watermelon. And by test, I mean the final thing. I went to five grocery stores and this is the only round one I could find. I don't have another one. So instead of that, how about we use a similarly shaped frozen ball? And instead of the drill bit, which I, uh, you know, haven't made yet, we use a kid's paintbrush and um, blue tack. Well, off-brand blue tack. What is this garbage? I was running low on the budget. Just allow it, all right? that was not supposed to happen. Oh, so as you can tell, that was a massive success. I wanna die. Nah, it'll be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. But for real though, the way this will work is the servos each take a value between zero and 180, even though they're 270 degrees. It's, it's kind of weird, but anyways, I wrote some code to tell the servos to gradually move to a series of coordinates and then uploaded it to the Arduino. That's cool and all, but am I really gonna type out all the points to my generation defining artwork like a caveman or a cave programmer. No, I will not be a slave to the keyboard. So I spent another five hours typing out some more code. Wait, I'm gonna need that back. Code which lets you draw in a pattern and then exports it into the list of coordinates to put in the other code. So now all you need to do is Since the frozen ball method didn't go too well, I'll stick a symbol to the frame instead to track the movement pattern. You want it to be in the middle because of the way the angles work or else everything gets really squished. Now it's time to test it out. As you can see, from the POV of the watermelon, the image is flipped, but it's functioning pretty well. For the drilling functionality, I've got a 12 volt DC motor with a drill attachment and a 12 volt linear actuator, which is basically like the pistons in Minecraft to push the drill bits in and out. But how do you attach these to one another? You will need some complex mounting mechanisms, but when you're a 3D printing master like me, what is this? Why is it all bumpy? The joint got stuck. It doesn't even fit. I'm gonna have to reprint this. They're honestly a piece of cake to design. 
The parts were indeed not a piece of cake to design. To make them, it took two weeks and another two years off my lifespan. When did I ask for a narrator? There is always a narrator. Just like if she leaves you for another, there is always her mother. In the long, long history of humanity, every so often you get a culture-defining, generation-defining spark of creativity. Something that pushes the envelope of what we thought was artistically possible. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Mozart's symphonies, and who could forget about the bored ape NFTs? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here I present to you the next big thing. The Sculpture de, de Melon, wait. Sculpture de Melon 3000. Yeah, I look like a terrorist, don't I? Anyways, this robot only requires four steps to get up and running. Step one, turn on the power. Step two, upload the thing. Step three, activate the piston. And step four, pray to whatever higher power you believe in that it works while watching it do its thing. Yeah, so I haven't tested it yet, but it's about time. I consider myself to be an artist. Is this why artists are broke? Oh. 